Hey everyone, this is Derek, and in this video we're looking at calculating the average rate of change, uh, but this time using function notation and an equation rather than just being kind of given the points or a graph where you could grab the points. And so again, that looked like f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So for this thing, this is going to be our what we're going to plug into. This is our equation, and this is our a and our b. And so let me write this out, um, what we're going to do. Ah, let me write average rate of change equals, and now f of 3 minus f of 1 over 3 minus 1. So all this is saying is I'm going to take 3, I'm going to plug it in here and figure out what that y would have been. Same thing with the 1s. I'm just finding my y2 and my y1. It's just I'm going to do that math within the equation itself. So then average rate of change, we're going to have 2, ah, don't mean that, 2 times 3 plus 5 minus 2 times 1 plus 5. All over 3 minus 1 would be a 2 down there for our change in x. And then here, this would be 6 and 5 would be 11 minus 2 and 5 makes 7 over 2, and then that will be 4 over 2, which equals 2, which makes complete sense, right, because we're finding average rate of change. This is a line. My slope was 2. I'm going to do all this mess to figure out that, yeah, it should better come out to 2, right, because average rate of change is the same thing as a slope. Um, so when it's linear, the average rate of change is always going to be the slope. You'll see in the next example it's not linear, and so then it will matter which two points we're looking between. Okay, same basic idea, but this time it is quadratic. Um, and so again, that means that we don't have a constant slope. It's changing at every single point. Um, so for here, we're going to find our average rate of change is going to equal um, f of 3 minus f of negative 2 over 3 minus, careful with the signs, negative 2. And that's going to look like this evaluated at 3. Minus this same thing evaluated at negative 2. All over 3 minus negative 2, which will come out to a 5. Um, I forgot to say in the last example, but notice that I'm, I use brackets. You could also use parentheses, that's fine. But the important thing is I'm thinking of this as a number. F of 3 is a number unto itself. F of negative 2, that parentheses is really important. If you don't have it, then the 4 ends up with the wrong sign. So you need to think of that second one as like you're making a number minus a number. Um, and that will keep your sign squared away. So this number would be uh, 27 plus 4 makes 31, and that minus sign right there. Negative 2 quantity squared, so that's a positive 4, times 3 is 12, and then up 4 from there gets us to 16 over 5. 31 minus 16, that is 15 over 5, or our average rate of change will be 3.